Warner Robins City Council is trying to pass a sound ordinance. As 41 NBC's Alexa Rodriguez found out, some businesses aren't fighting city leaders on this decision. I like it. I think it's it's a start in the right direction. Jack Morris is the man behind the shows at Chevy's Bar and Grill in Warner Robins. I'm the sound man. I come up and make sure the bands are complying with the law. He says that was a little difficult for him to do with the existing sound laws. Houston County's sound ordinance law was really vague. The city's proposed sound ordinance gives Morris a definitive sound level to comply with. Now you've got something to go by instead of just somebody saying, well, I think they're too loud and you getting a citation for it. If approved, the law wouldn't apply only to bars. Homes, businesses, and industrial facilities will also have sound level limitations. The ordinance will set a decibel limit for the various properties throughout the day. Councilman Tim Thomas says complaints from neighbors living behind Chevy's sparked the idea for the ordinance. Most of the problem was from 11 o'clock at night through probably 2 in the morning. So now the decimal will be around 55, which should be you know, good to take care of the problem. Catherine Wade lives directly behind the bar. Aside from a few trash cans rattling, she's never had a problem with the music level. If I'm already asleep by the time it happens, I don't notice it, and even if I do, it's only 10 or 15 minutes, and by then, noise is over and I can go to sleep. If the ordinance does pass, Morris doesn't see it negatively affecting Chevy's business. We don't lose any sound quality with what's set. In fact, he believes it will help make his job easier. Some bands want to go berserk, you know, and they want to get really strong, but we say, ah, Law says you can't go over this. In Warner Robins, Alexa Rodriguez, 41, NBC News. Councilman Tim Thomas expects council will vote on the ordinance during its January 20th meeting. He adds, if approved, patrol officers will be equipped with decibel meters. The Warner Robins Police Department plans to purchase four meters so that one can be used during each shift. They expect each one to cost about $300.